So I got myself some Christmas presents and I sent them early so that they would be here in time. So I want to show you because two of them have arrived and then we're going to do some Aquarius memes. But before that, let me show these to you first. Now this first one here is gorgeous. I wanted it so bad, but it was expensive. So I couldn't justify spending it. And finally, I was just like, oh, just get it. Because <laughs> I kept looking at it longingly. <laughs> it's an amethyst druzy half sphere. And I wanted it so bad, guys. And finally, I was able to get my mittens on it. <laughs> and it's heavy and expensive, but it's beautiful. And amethyst is the birthstone of February. And it's also a stone that's said to be very helpful for any Aquarius um, or any person who's working with psychic abilities, readings, uh, crown chakra, that kind of thing. So I wanted this beauty to put into my living room and maybe do some rituals with it. Who knows? I'm not too sure if I would just want to have it around for its beauty or if I'm actually work with it. But I love it. I really adore it. So this is the first gift I got myself. I like how it sparkles. Now the second gift is for women. So fellas, this might not be something that you might, unless you carry a pocketbook, <laughs> which some men do, um, unless you carry a pocketbook, you probably want to consider this maybe for your wife, mother, or girlfriend. Um, but if you're, if you or somebody you love is a fan of novelty pocketbooks, uh, Danielle Nicole or Beauty and the Beast, you might really like this one. Let me get it in frame. It's a tote bag. It's from the Danielle Nicole collection. And um, I think this is like a patent leather. I don't think it's real leather. I think it's like a patent leather or something like that. And I really thought it was so beautiful but it was sold out and I'm a big Beauty and the Beast fan so the picture on the front depicts the tail of the witch who put the curse on Beast so I just thought it was such a beautiful bag and you know I've been collecting these Daniel Nicole bags I got quite a few of them now so when I saw that I had to get it because it's been sold out for a long time and it was at a great price on eBay, so I snatched it. <laughs> and if you remember correctly, she told Beast that he had to learn to love before the last petal fell. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love the songs. I've watched it a million times with my daughter when she was little. Um, I just adore it. So when I saw that bag, I was just in love. That's one of my favorite parts of the movie. So I went ahead and bought it for myself and it came and I'm going to be carrying it tomorrow <laughs> when I go to the market. All right. So let me do the introduction and then I'm going to tell you guys all about today's funny memes. So I'm Queen Oset Haru. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button and smack the bell that's next to it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Pass it on to somebody else who might like it too. And drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to read out two of my previous positive comments that I really liked from earlier videos. So um, if you want to get a reading done, please email me. If you would like to hit me up on social media, all my information, including my email, is underneath this video. If you would like to become one of my patrons on Patreon, uh, that link is underneath this video. For as little as $5, you can check out all of the videos that I don't release on uh, YouTube. Likewise, if you would like to get a present for yourself or somebody else, there is my Ask an Aquarius merchandise underneath this video. If you want to get a present for me, because gifts are my love language, <laughs> my Amazon wish list, which I just updated, is underneath this video. And I added my address, so if you want to send a gift anonymously or whatever the case is, it'll come right to my front door. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at these Aquarius memes. This is part two. So the first one says, 
This is how an Aquarius apologizes. Who told you to let me hurt your feelings? Now, <laughs> I don't think we're that bad, but I have seen this one a lot. I've seen this one so many times. Um, Aquarius don't do the best with apologies. That's the part of this meme that's true. Um, some of the times I notice with myself and with other Aquarius, we have a hard time because we're always in, a, in an apology uh, we're always trying to explain why or what our thought process was. And a lot of times that's not really needed in an apology. A lot of times people just want you to sincerely apologize. And you saying, but because this or because that kind of messes up the apology. Um, who told you to let me hurt your feelings? I can't. <laughs> I can't. Like, why would you say that to somebody? That is hysterical. Number two, Aquarius is just as turned on by mental games as physical ones. Ooh, saucy, saucy. Steamy texts can set the mood hours before you actually see each other in real life. This is brilliant. Oh my God, is this brilliant. Um, Aquarius are very mental, so they're right. And, and when they say mental games... I'm thinking like, you know, like they said, steamy text messages, you know, not so much mind games, but like sexy, <laughs> romantic, you know, little things. Yes. If you can start to seduce the Aquarius's mind hours, days, months, weeks before you actually get to that point, um, that is only going to make it all the better. <laughs> okay. I used to love flirty little text messages and sexy little, you know, text pictures, you know, things like that. I remember one of my exes sent me a picture and it was just her legs and she had on these heels that tied around her calf. It was like the sexiest, <laughs> the sexiest shit I've ever fucking seen, you know? So stuff like that, you know, it wasn't even any, you know, breasts or any, it, nothing else in it but her legs. And I was like, Wow. So yeah, um, that is something that does make it even that much better. I agree. Seduce the Aquarius's mind when it, at all possible. The next one says, Aquarius, I want to be in love. Aquarius, two minutes later into a date, dialing 911. <laughs> People always say that Aquarius want to be in love and some of us are hopeless romantics, you know, things along those lines. Um, but they'll say that Aquarius run from relationships, uh, commitment, dates, things like that. And it's very, both of these things are very true. But the reason why we run isn't because we don't want to be in love. We run because that's not the one. We feel it or think it or know it and like, nah, that's not the one. So that is how come that happens. It's not that we don't want to love somebody. We just know that that is not our person. We don't feel it. Number two, Aquarius. An Aquarius is a chill person with a model that's simple. Don't start none. Ain't going to be none. I love this. Because I say that all the time. Don't start none, won't be none. It was an old song by James Brown, if I'm not mistaken. And that was the hook. Don't start none, won't be none. <laughs> don't start no static. Starting static means starting drama. And it's like, if you don't start no drama, ain't going to be no drama. Because the Aquarius is very chill. Some of us in our younger form can be a little bit more chaotic. But as we get older, we get more and more chill. And we don't usually start no mess. Don't start none, won't be none. How do you deal with your problems? Aquarius, blocked. <laughs> and it's a picture of an Aquarius hitting the block button on the phone. Um, an Aquarius will block you. An Aquarius will ghost you faster than your head can spin, okay? And most Aquarius, when we block somebody, it's because we're just tired of hearing their bullshit. That's really what it is. We're just tired. It's like, ugh, 
you, you still talking? Like, ugh. And some people, you ever been in an argument with somebody or somebody trying to argue with you? Because we don't really, really want to argue with them. So somebody trying to argue with you and they keep on, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> keep sending you messages, keep sending you voice messages, keep trying to talk to you. Once the Aquarius is tired, it's like, I don't have nothing else to say. Once I don't have anything else to say, I block the person. You know, that's pretty much it. Now, there are cases of people who I have not blocked. And that's because when I told them I didn't have anything else to say, they left me alone. <laughs> that's the difference between the two. If I tell the person, okay, whatever, I'm, I'm good. I don't want nothing to do with you. Bye. And they go about their business, it's no need to block them. But if they keep on talking, keep trying to gaslight me, keep trying to emotionally manipulate me, keep on, you know, some people just keep on. They keep, they're so used to being manipulative that they feel like if they keep on, they'll get you. And for an Aquarius, that's when you get in that block button. Um, also, if the Aquarius is really, like, if you're frustrating to us or you're exhausting to us or draining to us, those are people that will block too. How to tell an Aquarius is mad at you. You never hear from them again. <laughs> this piggybacks off of the first one. If an Aquarius is mad at you, that's usually the way you'll figure it out. Is that they don't keep on, you know, contacting you. Basically, they just leave you alone. Um, another way um, you could tell when an Aquarius is mad at you. Because Aquarius don't always talk about our feelings. So sometimes we don't just say, I'm mad at you, you did so-and-so. As we get more emotionally mature, we will say that. But sometimes in the beginning, it's kind of difficult for us. So you'll never hear from the Aquarius again, or the Aquarius is around you, but they're quiet, you know? Now you got this Aquarius that's always talking, always yakking, always got an opinion, and now for two days, they've been quiet. That's a mad Aquarius, a mad or something's going on with them. Some kind of something they're churning around. And so that's a good possibility that they might be mad at you. Most of us just go away. Like, why Why the fanfare? Why the, you know, why the tear-filled goodbye? Just go about your business. Now, this one gave us several of them. As a matter of fact, it's 10 on here. So I'm going to tell you which ones are true and which ones are not. The first one says, Aquarius will keep it real 100%. Yes, Aquarius who are in high vibrations, and some of us are not in high vibration, will keep it 100% real. That's not to say you won't run across a dishonest Aquarius because some of the low vibrational Aquarius are very dishonest. But um, a lot of times we will keep it real, sometimes too real. And sometimes that's what gets us in trouble is it's too real. People, people don't want all that realness. <laughs> they say they want it until they get it. They don't want that realness. Number two, Aquarius are prideful. I do have a lot of pride and it has gotten me in trouble. There have been times when I didn't say something to someone because of my pride. Um, not as much as I've gotten older, but definitely when I was younger, you know, uh, pride is enough for me to just, you know, clam up. You know, we are very proud. Um, and some of us, of course, more than others. But as I've gotten older, I've learned when to not let my pride get in the way of something else I wanted. See, I didn't always know about that. <laughs> I didn't always realize that. So that is something that has changed. Number three, Aquarius are loyal to a fault. An Aquarius who is loyal to you and who is down with you is with you. The question is, are they with you or not? <laughs> That's the first thing you have to figure out because some of us ain't with you and some of us are act like we are with you, but we not. Is your Aquarius loyal to you? If you know your Aquarius is loyal 100%, that is an Aquarius who will ride or die. But if they're not, mm -mm. like the people that I'm loyal to, like my daughter, for example, um, I'm I, <laughs> like, it don't matter what goes on, I'm going to be loyal to her, you know? Um, no matter how mad I am at her, no matter what fight we go through, I'm going to be loyal to my baby. So that is a true statement. Number four, Aquarius are wild at times. Yeah, sometimes we're wild, especially when we're younger. Um, and when we talk about wild, we can, it, it depends on your definition of wild because wild is on a spectrum. 
you know, you have wild as in staying up all night, <laughs> you know, uh, drinking and talking to our friends all the way to having, you know, um, group, you know, group activities, um, or, you know, um, all kind of wildness, posing nude, dancing, you know, traveling the world, all kinds of wildness. It depends on the Aquarius, what we're willing to do. So there is a, a scale with that, but some of us can be wild at times. Number five, Aquarius are loners at heart. Yes, we are loners at heart. As a matter of fact, Aquarius do better alone than with other people. We get further, we get more work done. You know, we, we figure out more, we do a lot more. Um, people are a challenge for Aquarius. We are definitely the lone wolf. Masterminds. A lot of Aquarius are very smart and a lot of Aquarius can plan and calculate some of the some of the biggest capers you ever can imagine. So we definitely are masterminds. That intelligence can be used for good or not, depending upon the Aquarius that you're talking about. Aquarius can be music geeks. A lot of us are into music, very into music. So this is true. And those of us that are into music, it depends on what the music is because some of us play music and some of us just listen to music. But Aquarius, many of us are into music for different reasons. Most of us feel something from it, though. It's a feeling that we get. The songs I listen to are because I feel them. People send me songs all the time and I just don't feel it. I'll be like, eh, it's a nice song, but I'm just, eh. Something about the, the lyrics just didn't touch me. It's, it's the lyrics and the song and the music. It's just certain ones touch me. Number eight, Aquarius are human lie detectors. Aquarius can generally tell when somebody is lying to us. Um, sometimes Aquarius will know that you're lying and not tell you that we know that you're lying. Just to see what your ass going to do. <laughs> Just to see how you going to kick it. Just to see how you move, you know. Um, and Aquarius, we can often tell when somebody's lying. But it's very frequent for us not to let on. Very frequent. I don't tell somebody I know they're lying unless two things. Number one, there's a reason. Tell them for what. If there's no reason, I don't tell them. Number two, I can prove it. If I can't prove it, I'm not going to say nothing. But if I can prove it and there's a reason, that's when I say something. Nine, Aquarius speak fluent sarcasm. Oh my God, you don't know the half of it. Between talking shit, speak, talking sarcasm, cracking jokes, I got a mouth on me, okay? <laughs> and talk about sarcastic, oh my God, yes, fluent sarcasm. A lot of us do that. Um, and those of us who aren't sarcastic, some of us are just really wicked funny, like, you know, always talking smack. And the last one said, Aquarius will knock your lights out. This is true. Aquarius are not fighters. We're not the kind of people that go out there in the street and start stuff with people. We're not like that unless we're young. You know, sometimes you'll get that. But for the most part, we're not like that. We just, we really just want to chill. That's the biggest thing about Aquarius. We want to be free and we want to chill. So um, if an Aquarius is threatened or caged or something like that, in Aquarius, a lot of us have bad tempers. And a lot of people don't know we have bad tempers because they've never seen it because the Aquarius is always so chill. But let something happen that we don't like. <laughs> let somebody come up in here and do something to me or try to attack my daughter or something like that. <laughs> don't do it. I will go off. Our temper is legendary. There are people that still remember me going off. And when they see me, they just look at me. <laughs> they just look at me like, uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's a true statement. Now, this one is funny. This one is a picture of the back of the Silver Surfer. And it says, I'm tired of Earth. Uh, these people, I am tired of being caught in the tangle of their lies. Aquarius after being forced to socialize for seven minutes when I saw that one I really did laugh because I was like you know what Aquarius are social beings you know I used to love like I said I love going to the bar love hanging out especially when I was younger 
Um, but as we get older, we become more homebodies. And as we get more comfortable in our surroundings and in ourself, we're not always interested in socializing unless it's some of our favorite people. So even then, we might not feel like it sometimes. So this is another true statement. Now we got some positive comments that I'm going to read to you and respond to. Doris Hamilton has received one of the highest number of hearts from me. Hey, Doris. And Doris said, you've got me down to a T and I'm quick to cut a person out, but not right away. Once I see a negative pattern, I assess and distance myself without hesitation. Oh, without explanation. That's what it says. All right. So cool. All right. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I was just thinking like, is that typical? Yeah, it's very common for Aquarius. And a lot of times you don't get an explanation from an Aquarius. I've noticed that people always say to me, my Aquarius didn't even say anything. They just disappeared. Or my Aquarius didn't say anything. You know, they just stopped calling. And they're like, why didn't my Aquarius say anything? Why didn't they tell me they were angry or hurt or whatever the case is? And I'm like, that's not really us. We usually just shut off. When I'm really, really hurt, and sometimes I'll talk to the person after I'm not hurt anymore. But while I'm hurt, I don't have nothing to say. I really don't. And I need space. I need to get over the hurt. And that's when I will actually talk to the person. Um, sometimes. Sometimes I'm so hurt I never speak to them again. So a lot of people don't get an explanation. That's true. Maria Williams. Hi, Maria. Maria said, I cannot with a Gemini. <laughs> I've always had terrible experiences with them romantically. Hoes, liars, just unnecessary drama. I find them so draining. You know, what's interesting to me. I've heard this many times from people. Um, I have had friendships with Geminis, but I never had a serious relationship with them. So I don't know. Um, but I have heard this a number of times. But one thing I want you to remember she said a Gemini. Now, one of the things I think is very important to remember is that every Gemini is not going to be like that. Some people, every zodiac sign has positive and negative, okay? So there are going to be some positive Geminis, ones that aren't hoes, ones that aren't liars, um, the ones that aren't into unnecessary drama, there's going to be them and there's going to be the other side of the spectrum. Just like with Aquarius. Some people hate Aquarius because they've met a dark Aquarius who did them dirty, period, point blank. So then when they meet me, they mad. <laughs> they mad at me. And I'm like, I didn't even do nothing to you. So remember, don't lump the whole zodiac sign together. Any of you who've heard me talk before, you've heard me say this a jillion times. It's a bad, it's a really bad move to lump people together of any sun sign, any race, any culture. It's bad to lump them all together and say they're all one kind of way. So whereas you might have met some Geminis like that, you probably did meet some Geminis like that because I've heard this more than once, but it doesn't mean that every Gemini is like that. Get their birth chart and then you'll know if they're like that or not. Get their time, place, and date of birth. That's all you need and then you can see what kind of Gemini you're dealing with. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So you guys come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.